Hey what is up guys this is Bosco back again with another video So a couple of days before I was just minding my own business and I received a whatsapp message from one of the guys who work at the junkyard and he sent me a picture of this computer Now you can see the case is in a beat up condition it it's a Raven RB02 from uh, Silverstone it's a pretty old case from back in 2011ish I believe so when I asked him about the specifications of the computer he wasn't sure he just told me that uh, it's some sort of an i7 is something that I'm more interested in so I asked him about the price but he told me that I should come over there have a look at it and then we can talk about the price so um so when I reached over there I saw that this computer came with uh, 16 GB of RAM two sets were from uh, Patriot and the other two were from HyperX so that was pretty cool so when I opened up the thermal take heat sink it had a aftermarket heat sink a pretty big one so I was pretty optimistic that it's going to be some sort of a K series an overclockable or unlocked uh, processor but I was surprised the processor that it came with was it's an it was an i7 3960x series which if you guys know about the processor it's one of the best processors uh from Intel till even though it's an old one but till date uh, it is a pretty po potent uh, processor it's a six cores i believe and comes with it's a six cores and yeah so it's a six core and 12 thread uh, processor it runs at around about 3.4 gigahertz so it's a pretty awesome processor this computer also came with a Patriot SSD drive. It was a 120 GB, which the guy wasn't really sure of what it is. He just told me that it comes with a one terabyte hard drive. Yes, it came with a one terabyte WD hard drive as well. So this was a pretty good package for me. But the thing was that I wasn't sure and neither was the person who was selling this computer sure that if it's working or not. He just told me that he, per he picked it up from the bin some rich guy had thrown it in the bin for some reasons i don't know why um so it was sort of a gamble for me okay so when i asked about the price the guy he told me that he's looking for around somewhere around 200 dollars for this computer but after negotiation i was able to get it for 170 dollars which was a pretty good deal uh now the only thing or big factor over here was that i wasn't sure if this computer is working because if it wasn't then it's gonna be a big issue for me but still you know um, looking at the parts just the, the heatsink of this computer it's worth around, around at least fifty dollars because it's an aftermarket thermal take uh, heatsink the ram i believe should cost somewhere around about fifty bucks as well so purchasing the whole computer for one hundred and seventy dollars was sort of a risk but i think it was worth it Anyhow, so I bought this computer back home and I tried to start the computer but unfortunately the computer did not start. Uh, it, it did have a faulty power supply. So the only thing that I did in this computer was replace the power supply and lo and behold the computer was in working condition. I started the computer. It was, um, as, uh, as I told you earlier, it was an i7 3960X series and it was an unlock processor so i even tried to overclock the processor and you can see, you can see the results on the screen this independent score was pretty amazing and uh, you know because I, I flip computers sometimes every now and then so I, I do have a couple of people already lined up for these sort of computers so everything happened so quickly i wasn't able to record a video for it so i called up one of my friends who, who was looking for a similar sort of specification computer he really wanted to run some Android uh, multiple in emulators on his computer. He was he wanted to run about five to six emulators for some sort of a game. He was farming. I'm not sure what game it was, uh, but because I know this process is pretty potent, so I told him about this one and he agreed to purchase it. So I bought this computer for 170, but I sold it for 600 dollars. Yes, for 600, that's a profit of almost 400 and thirty dollars now you might say that I'm, i ripped off the person who was buying this computer but to be honest i did not because with this computer i gave him a monitor plus a keyboard and a mouse also i gave him a money back guarantee for one month so if anything goes wrong in the computer 
I could replace it with no problems. Also, with that, uh, I helped. I delivered the computer to his place and I did the installation for him. So, 430 bucks for all of that. I think it's worth it. So, that's it about this computer. Um, I the only regret that I have is that I couldn't record a video because everything happened so quickly. Uh, as the guy who was who I sold this computer for, uh, he wanted it urgently, so I couldn't record a video for it. So that's my only regret on this. If I could, I would have kept this computer. But again, as I said, that I really enjoy flipping computers for a profit, so uh, it really doesn't matter. Maybe next time I'll find a better computer or processor. Okay, so just one more thing I want to add over here is that if you want to look how capable your processor is, um, you can just go to Google and type in the processor name followed by benchmark and by that it will show you the CPU mark which is the score of your processor. Now in our case you can see over here that uh, it's an i7 3960X 3.3 uh, GHz and the CPU mark is 12,585 now if you look at the bottom half, bottom half of the page you could see the score is comparable to the 8700K i7 for the 8700K the score is 15,962 and for us the 3960X it's 12,585 which is more than the 7700K 12,000 37 uh, even better than the 40, 4790k so this processor is like one of the best processors made by intel and till date it's it's a pretty expensive processor so uh, finding this processor in the junk was like a dream come true for me to be honest with you i never thought that i would come across this processor uh, i wasn't really greedy i could have sold this processor f or this computer for a much higher price than i sold it for but I think uh, the amount that I sold it for was satisfactory for me and the guy who was looking for this kind of a processor he was able to do or run his multiple emulators with no problems he was able to run six Android uh, I, I believe the ones that he was running was uh, Bluestack he was running Bluestack six of them at the same time he was playing games or farming whatever he was doing but he was able to do all six emulators on the same screen at the same time so you can just imagine how good of a processor this is so that's all about it i hope you really liked the video if you did you can hit the like button if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe there was more content coming soon so yeah like subscribe and share thanks a lot peace